Hey guys, um, my name's Paul. Today we're going to be talking to Artie Carden. Um, also with us today is Chantel Boyle. How are you doing, Chantel? I'm very well, thank you. Nice to see you. Okay, so we spoke to Artie back in October 2020 and we're catching up again. How are things, Artie? Um, I mean, I think they're reasonably okay, considering. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, well, it's nice to see you again, and and uh, we appreciate you taking the time out to uh, to talk to us again. I'm just going to quickly go over the conditions that um, we last spoke about. Artie has hypermobility syndrome. Uh, this is when you have very flexible joints and it can cause pain. Uh, and this is summarised, obviously. Uh, Artie also has Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is a lifelong condition where parts of the digestive system become inflamed. Uh, and Artie also has a very rare uh, vasculitis called tachyasus. Did I pronounce that right? You've pronounced it better than most people tend to. <laughs> I've been practicing. <laughs> yeah, tachyasus. Tachyasus. Uh, this is a group of disorders that causes blood vessel inflammation. It damages the large artery that carries blood from your heart to the rest of your body. Obviously, you have a series of conditions and, I'm, you know, how, how, are, how, how are you coping? It's been quite um, a roller coaster of a few years. So I was diagnosed with Crohn's in summer of 2019. Um, and then in 2020 was my Takiyasu's diagnosis. Um, luckily, the two of them are treated with similar medications. Um, so I was already on adalimumab injections for Crohn's. Um, I'd literally just started uh, when the pandemic began. Um, and then I was put on, <clears throat> I was put on steroids from June of 2020 and I'm still on them. Has it been a bit of a roller coaster in terms of trying to work out uh, medication um for your conditions? Uh, I feel like I've been quite lucky um, that the adalimumab has been working. Um, and I've also been on mercaptopurine. and I went on that first um, back in, I don't know, um, probably when I was diagnosed with Crohn's. So since 2019, the steroids have helped to kind of control the tachyasus and Crohn's, um, at least when it comes to flares is one of these conditions any worse than the others um they're both pretty bad <laughs> um they're both autoimmune conditions they're both inflammatory ones um they both can affect your entire body basically so um i've had some pretty bad side effects or um symptoms with crohn's uh, including things like an abscess those are horrendous um, and that combined with my heart mobility syndrome um, means I have really slow healing when it comes to tachyasus it can narrow all of your major like um, arteries that feed all of your limbs can I ask I know that you got diagnosed recently is this something you've kind of grown up with when did you become aware of this condition um, I think I was probably dealing with symptoms for around six years before I was diagnosed because I, was, I definitely had some stomach problems for a while before I eventually actually got diagnosed but it was as I said sort of brushed off as IBS and um, the appropriate tests were not done when they should have been um, but no when I was younger I had no real dietary issues I wasn't lactose intolerant I you know I didn't really have any of those issues at all until sometime around late teens to early 20s it just sort of hit me and um, after quite a awful bout of uh, life things okay so so was it a flare that actually um you know sort of kicked spurred you into action into actually saying saying something's wrong here and I need to get this looked at yeah, because even though I'd been dealing with some like stomach issues for a while, it was just a whole other level of pain. And um, like it was just so debilitating. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't do anything. I was so fatigued. Um, everything hurt. Um, like I was up most of the night, every half hour or so going to the bathroom. I was vomiting. I so did it make you feel like 
permanently unwell? Did you feel, you know, I'm just trying to understand how you felt in yourself. Yeah, there was kind of just no break. Um, mm. There, like a lot of people I've met as well since being diagnosed, um, it's often a lot of people, it's anything you put in your body can trigger worse or some kinds of symptoms so that was kind of what I was kind of like dealing with at the time that some foods made it a lot worse um so like lactose and uh, anything particularly spicy um but eating any food just kind of made my symptoms go a bit awry so there wasn't really any break from it unless I didn't eat (laughs) And you mentioned that um, initially you were told that it was IBS and I've, I've heard, but you're much more um, in tune with this area than I am. Um, have you, other speak, people that you've spoken to, were they also diagnosed with IBS to start off with? A lot of people I've met and spoken to have had um, sort of a diagnosis of IBS. Uh, same for lots of other conditions that affect the stomach. Uh, like my gran has uh, diverticular uh-huh. um, so yeah she's had similar things like oh it's just a bit of IBS oh just watch what you're eating and it's like is this an ongoing journey in the sense that you know in terms of how, what you've eat you know what you eat are you learning and it's still about what works and what doesn't it kind of varies because I seem to have some very small amount of tolerance for lactose in certain foods so like for some reason I can go and eat fish and chips from like a (laughs) the local chippy (laughs) that doesn't affect me but uh if I eat crisps with um with dairy in like if I eat a packet of Walker's cheese and onion crisps then I get quite sick with everything that you've told us can you expand a little bit more on how Crohn's disease impacts your life with regard to my work relationships your social life um a lot of it was that you know I would be using the toilet uh, so many times a day (laughs) um when I was at university sometimes I'd have to go in the middle of lectures more than once um even if it wasn't particularly painful it was just like a constant diarrhea for me for years that I nothing made any difference whether or what I ate but yeah, so that made trying to sit and learn quite difficult because I constantly be thinking, oh my God, uh, do I need to go to the toilet again? I think I got quite accidentally lucky quite a lot of times because even with the friends I have, my family, like uh, me and my gran have different conditions, but they run in the same sort of issues. So she has a lot of stomach issues. We both have types of vasculitis. Um, we are on similar medications things like that this condition does it affect you mentally does it give you anxiety or make you just feel I don't know frustrated and because you must be feeling having to deal with this day to day and it must be it must be challenging it's similar with all of my conditions really is that the problem is not necessarily the condition but the society we live in that everything that I, I really have problems with with any of my conditions always tends to be a lack of knowledge and lack of accessibility. Are you still wearing the sunflower? Are you using it? Yes, I actually use it to hold my mask because it's got a little clip on the end. So I don't lose it. <laughs> so if I need to take it off uh, at any point, it will still be around my neck. So, um, yeah, two in one. Do you feel you need a visual indicator? Why do you, why, you know, you, you still wear it. Why do you wear it? Um, I wear it because um, I don't necessarily feel like disabilities are invisible. I just think that the public is not very educated on um, the signs of disabilities. Um, and this is one of those sort of compromises of like, hey, if you're not going to realise that maybe, you know, I might need some extra help, um, then this is one of those ways that I can sort of signify that to people who matter. Arty, do you have any advice for anyone who might be experiencing the same as you or has, you know, or is going through what perhaps you have, have gone through um, you know, with, with similar health conditions. Do you have any kind of something you might want to say or share with them? What, you know, how would you, what, what would you look out for? What would you do? Um, 
so the main kind of thing I've had to do for each of my conditions is that I've had to do a lot of research myself to bring to my doctors. A lot of people online as well are able to um, read and produce uh, more, more of a plain language version of um, articles and uh, studies and stuff like that that are more helpful for people generally. To make it more understandable for people, you mean? Yeah, like um, rather than using a lot of academic and scientific language, using just plain English, <laughs> yeah. um, whilst also explaining maybe what some of the language is as well. You mentioned at the beginning of the chat about um, that it's actually other people's attitude towards disability, which is, is, is more difficult than actually having a disability. Do you think there is very much awareness of Crohn's disease now? Um, I don't really see a lot of it, even in like fictional characters um, mm. on TV or in books or films or anything like that. Um, I watch a lot of medical shows and um, they are, yeah, they don't have many people with Crohn's on them. So yeah, <laughs> we had a Takayasu's once. It was uh, on house, but it was uh, very sidelined. And um, you mentioned the vaccine. Can what what are your thoughts about that? And do you know do you know anything about it? Basically, it's the same sort of mechanism as the AstraZeneca vaccine that we had for COVID. So they are currently in trials. They are on their first round of patients with Crohn's being tested at the moment, and they are expecting in hopefully the next couple of years it will be actually available to use, but. Um, yeah it's still kind of early enough that they don't have a lot of answers yet well Artie thanks so much for giving us your time today um, and sharing the knowledge that you've acquired uh, through your own research and we will be um, very much looking forward to sharing that with the sunflower community Thank so you. that they can find out um, more about Crohn's disease and um, I can't say it Taki. Taki Thank you. I'll do it. I've got it. <laughs> Thank you.